In zero SSC, Echo Mike 48, portable. A Hotel Bravo again. All right, Whiskey Zero Delta Hotel Bravo, thanks uh, from N0 SSC Echo Mike 48, uh, using a handheld and a 19 inch whip. Call again, call again, please send grid. Yeah, Norway Zero Sierra Sierra Charlie Echo Mike 48, Echo Mike 48, QSO. He was DN70. Norway Sugar. Norway Sugar 1 Zulu and 0 Sugar Sugar Charlie. Number 0, Norway Sugar 1 Zulu, Echo Mike 48, Echo November 91. QSL, Echo Mike November 91. Uh, you've got uh, Echo Mike 58 from Sugar Sugar Charlie. Or Echo Mike 48, Echo Mike 48 from Sugar Sugar Charlie. Yeah, the Sugar Echo calling uh, Sierra Sierra Charlie, uh, Echo Mike 48. I think uh, November X-ray again. All right, QSL November X-ray nine Bravo. Here's Norway zero Sierra Sierra Charlie Echo Mike 48. November five AFV and zero SSC Echo Mike 48. Thank you, seven three. Helps to do some body fade. It's an interesting technique I just found out. The satellite should be right about there. Put it in front of your chest at about 45 degrees. Change it whichever way. Really, whatever makes the best signal works. And that was about the pass for me. I might get another one if I'm lucky. Okay, uh, probably gone under. Yep. There's your uh, AX25, meaning passes over. So, as you saw, I made six or five satellite contacts using only five, a 5 watt radio and FT60 FM transceiver, as you see here, and a literally 17 inch dual band. Actually, it's a uh, looks like tri-band whip um, it's the diamond RH901S antenna I got this off of deal extreme normally they sell for about forty dollars on uh, Universal Radio and Ham Radio Island and the other ham radio vendors online I got this for eight dollars on deal extreme it is not a gimmick it is not a counterfeit antenna it is the real thing and it works great so don't be discouraged from the ham radio satellites if you think you need to buy one of those Aero satellite antennas or the Elk antennas, although they are great antennas and they will get you into the satellite every time, you can make do with a simple 19 inch whip or a whip like this uh, that you can get off the Deal Extreme or some other cheapo uh, Chinese uh, <laughs> uh, vendor um, for real cheap and it's really easy as you just saw. You just have to turn towards the satellite and you know move it around a lot use that body fading technique and follow the satellite as it goes across the sky and you'll make you'll make contacts just like that there's a few satellite antennas you can make um, from you know you can make a j-pole uh, or a slim jim out of twin lead line that that's going crazy at radio shack as they're you know moving from the old diy to the cell phone industry and all that stuff from radio shack i got 100 feet for like ten dollars plans for the slim jim are all over the internet Here's some links that you can uh, get the plans from. It's real simple, just cutting wires and soldering a little bit. Really easy. Another antenna design is called the egg beater antenna. This is two, a two loop circularly polarized antenna that will give you good coverage of the entire satellite passes across the sky because it sends radiation basically as a giant 
semicircle instead of, you know, this would more, look more like it's got a lobe here and a lobe going out there like a donut. This is basically a monopole antenna. So you're missing out a lot of the radiation that's pointing directly outwards. So that's why you need to point at the satellite and keep the broad side of the antenna um, facing the satellite. Anyways, this egg beater antenna, um, you can make out of PVC pipe like this guy did and some house wire for under $10 at Lowe's. It's really easy, real fun, real simple, and uh, you'll learn something. Out here you on AO27 or SO50. 73 from N0 SSC.